I'm DePriest, and welcome to the studio. Today I'm going to share with you some of the artwork from the Ocean Love Collection. And the whole intention behind all of the artwork is for uplifting places and spaces. And I've incorporated some interesting things into the artwork. Uh, and my inspiration for a lot of it was Masura Emoto's research and his findings on the water crystals and the impact that words and thoughts have upon water. Now our bodies are roughly 80% water and the earth is more than 75% covered in water. Um, and everything that we're thinking, the words, the thoughts, the intentions are affecting that water which affects all of us. And I think that that is incredibly profound if you think about it. So I decided to play with that and incorporate it into the artwork. And most of these pieces are encaustic. Uh, they're mixed media, but encaustic is a huge part of it. And the encaustic medium is beeswax and Damar resin. It's heated to a really high temperature and then it's painted and allowed to solidify. So in the burning in process of the encaustic, I allowed the Benedictine monks to be played in the background chanting. So that energy and that frequency was burnt into the artwork encaustically. I also used stones, which are super powerful. The Mineral Kingdom has amazing gifts to offer us. So I took some of my favorite stones, which are um, jade and quartz and amethyst and blue lapis, and I used them in the artwork to help hold the frequency and the energy and the intention of love. So some of them are written in stone. Love is actually written in stone. And then some of them uh, are used on top of the work. To help hold that frequency. The Ho'oponopono prayer is used, especially in this, the Mermaid's Passion, which is the piece in the background with the beautiful eyes. And the Ho'oponopono prayer is, I love you, thank you, please forgive me, I'm sorry. And you think about that, those four statements are so incredibly powerful, they are so healing, and they help release the negativity and things that really, that are not serving us, they're not in our best interest and they're things that we need to let go. So imagine if you took that and you had a piece of artwork that had the energy and the intention of that and you kept it in your space. So it was a reminder to you to let things go. It was a reminder to you to forgive. It was a reminder that love is the most powerful frequency and the most healing thing that you could ever bring and allow into your life and to resonate out with. So um, with those principles in mind, that is uh, why and how I created this ocean of collection that is growing. So as it grows, I will share the new pieces with you, and I will also give you a detailed curation of the pieces um, and each of their backgrounds separately. So it's ciao for now from the studio. I'm DePriest, and I'll see you next time.